today I will show you how to make the freeze frame sequence effect. For more tutorials, make sure to subscribe and without wasting any time, let's get right into it. For the best result, you need a clip that is filmed on a tripod at 60 frames per second or higher, so you get less motion blur, and the subject should be darker than the background. So let's add the clip on the timeline. As you can see, it's filmed at 60 frames per second, so click Patch to Media. Next, let's extend it. Choose a frame that you like, and we will take a snapshot of it. So click this button. When you take the snapshot, make sure to place it on the same place where you took it, so right here. Next we will hide the snapshot, so we can find another frame. So let's take this one, take a snapshot again, and add it on top as a third layer. Again hide it so we can see the other frame, click the eye icon, and now we will choose um, this one. Take a snapshot, and drag it on top. You can do this as many times as you like. Next, click the eye so we can see all of the photos. And now it's time to create the effect. To do that, click on the first snapshot, go to compositing, and change the blending mode to darken. Do that for all the snapshots. So this is how it will look. Change the duration of the snapshots so they are as long as the clip. Do that for all of them. At the end you should have this tear look. To get another cool effect, first we will export it. Let's name it main clip. And the resolution and frame rate is ok, so we'll export. Wait for it to be done and import the clip back. Remove this from the timeline, add the exported clip and we will reverse it. So right click, go to speed and duration, click reverse speed and press ok. Let's render the timeline so it looks better. And we will also add some camera movement. So right click, go to crop and zoom, then to pan and zoom. Click the inner part of the video. And we will place it on the right side where the movement starts. Then click the button down here. And click on the outer part of the video where it says end. So let's resize it. So now the clip will start here and finish up here. Press ok and let's see how it looks. This is the final result. Make sure to watch this other video for more tips and tricks.